All right. Calculating the three figure bearing. Calculating. Calculating the three figure bearing. Bearings. Let's quickly take some example on how to calculate the three figure bearing. Example two. Find the three figure bearing of the arrow lines in these diagrams. We have A. This is the diagram for A. We are asked to find the three figure bearing of this diagram. B. We are asked to find these um, three figure bearing for this. Then C. We are also asked to find for this one also. Let's quickly take the solution to find the three. Um, the three figure bearing of this problem. Let's quickly do that now for A. What we'll just do here, what they are asking us to do here, is just to find a bearing from here to this place. Now, if we can observe, you know that this is a compass bearing. So we are indirectly asked to convert compass bearing into a three figure bearing, which we are going to do that now. It's just a conversion of compass bearing. To three figure bearing in doing that since we know that in this from north to east is 90 degree so what we we'll now do here we we'll now say 90 we we'll say 90 degree all right so this is a three figure bearing for this particular problem from we have converted this 35 degree for, for uh, 35 degree east of north we have converted it now to uh, a three figure bearing which is zero Five five degree as the three figure bearing for this particular problem of A. Let's quickly move to uh, to the solution for B. B is quite simple. Uh, what you just need to do here is just for you to add one zero to this thirty five, and it has become a three figure a three figure bearing. Let's get that done now. So this is the solution for this V part, which is a 0.35 degree, is the three figure bearing for this compass bearing, which is 35 degree and not of east. So we have converted this now to a three figure bearing. The reason why we call it three figure bearing is because you have three figure here, three digits, one, two, three. That's the reason why we call it a three uh, three figure bearing so let's solve the c part the c part is also very simple so what we'll just do here is that if you, uh, if you notice here from north to east is 90 degree and from east to south is also 90 degree and from south to west is also 90 degree so if you add 90 plus 90 plus 90 we are going to have 270 degree our aim now is to look for the bearing from this place to this particular place. That is what we want to look for. So what we'll do here, we'll now minus 270 from 34. 270 minus 34 degree to get our three figure bearing for that. So let's get that done now. All right, so we're going to have 270 degree here. 270 degree. 270 degree 270 degree minus minus 34 34 degree and that will give us that will give us that will give us um, 236 degree as our answer so this is how to work out the three figure bearing whenever you are given a compass bearing you can convert it to a three you can convert it to a three figure bearing so you see we have converted this to a three figure bearing by saying 270 minus 34 is equals to 236 degree now for instance if this 34 is inside here if this 34 is inside here let's do that 
Now, for, for instance, if the for the C part, which we just saw now, if this 34 happen to be here, okay, let's take that as as our example D, as our example D. Let's quickly move there as our example D. Now look at where our 34 is. Now our 34 is here. Now we know this is due south. Due south is 180. That is from here, from this north to south is a 180 degree. So what we'll do here, we'll add this to this 34 to get the three figure bearing. So what we we'll here will now say 180, 180 plus 180 plus 30, 180 plus 34. We are going to have 180 plus 34 here, and our answer here will be 214 degree as our three figure bearing. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to give you a classwork for you to do.